looking out over the Roberto Clemente Bridge into downtown Pittsburgh. It is 1234. Stay tuned for Pirates Baseball. Next. Man, I'm not going to be able to get up tomorrow. Now from the home of the Pirates since 2001. A spectacular view there of PNC All right, let's Park get right into in Pittsburgh. It. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the L.A. Dodgers and the Pittsburgh Pirates. So I almost want to play this game straight up, but here we go. Marte telling me to move up a little bit. All right. Watch it hit it over my head. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Throw Dang, that dude was moving down the bases. Man, that game. dude was flying. So the Dodgers have a leadoff base runner here to contend with. And with that, let's give you a look at how look the at Pirates this team. align defensively. Man. It's brought to us by the folks at Majestic. I mean, and obviously, Willie Stargell would be in left field. In but for this purposes, he's not... Gil Hodges will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. Well, I'm going to try to steal some bases if I can get on base. And a fastball swung on and hit in the air to left. And Marte will make the grab and that ends right the Right to him. Easy money. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. And now the Pirates will take their turn in a scoreless ball game. All right, here we go. Stalin, St Sterling Marte, Starling Marte against Starling Fernando Marte Valenzuela. Will get his first a matchup you would never see. Now and a runner at first. And that misses for ball one. And there he goes towards second. Pitch outside the throw. Now, oh, come on, dude. He's out at second. Caught I didn't even get to finish my bet. Second inning coming. Josh Gibson threw him out. <laughs> He threw him out. That's crazy. Starling Marte will start things off in the bottom. So Josh of the Gibson is making his presence felt, even though we're not player locking as First pitch coming. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Very difficult to get on top of the pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast oh. enough to stay on top. Man, this dude has some nasty stuff, man. Come on, let it fly, And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. I know screwballs on the pitch you not a pitch you see every day. No call on the screwball there, so the count moves to one and two now. I used to try to throw a screwball. It's it's a really technical pitch. pitch. It's it's hard to do. And this is <sighs> in the third as it swung on and missed, but this should be a pretty straightforward play to first. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Yeah, that's a good pitch right there. Get some fishing for it. Then nice work to tidy up behind the plate and make the put out at first. And it's a tight game. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Starling Marte will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Yeah, I know a lot of people say Josh Gibson is the true home run king. But because he played in a different league, it's like those stats don't. There, they don't count as much. Sorry, I need to quit talking while I'm trying to swing. Now just into his fifth inning of work. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. Well, the pitch counts the least of his worries. If his guys don't get him any runs, I don't think it'll matter all that much. Hey, 
Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in Man, this dude is throwing some hard stuff, man. It's it's hard to stay on get on top of it. 96 mile an hour, two seamer. There we go. There we go. center field for a solid single. It wasn't just that he was getting fastballs there. He was getting hittable fastballs. This catches a ton of the plate. Oh, it's Wagner. Oh, it's going to be tough, man. Because Fernando's a lefty. Again. He flew out his first time. No offer on that. But he has a windup that I could probably get a good jump on. In there, baby. In there. Boy, I'm not too sure if a good throw would have had him here or not. But you can see he doesn't get on top of his throw down, and it sails on him just a little bit. That's going to allow the runner to dive in safely with a stolen base. And Jackie Robinson couldn't tag him out. Here he comes on 3-1. And this is fouled back and out of play. Sharply hit towards the hole, and it's going to get through a base hit. Uh oh, would Puig get him out? Home. Oh, he outruns Puig's arm, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. What a matchup between these two. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That was crazy. Now Puig is up to bat. Stand in and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. Now Puig is going to challenge. Let's see what happens. Swing and ooh, he saws him off with that one. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They trail this one, one to nothing. All right, so so far, uh, Cody, you look like your predictions holding true. Marte greater than Puig. Starling Marte. Will stand in a strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. And there's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. Puig, oh, we got him back. He's able to put it away oh, for the second out. We have a duel, ladies and gentlemen. We got a duel. Two outs can't do a whole lot better than that. It's crazy that it's actually coming down. Oh, game over. Yeah, it wasn't exactly a complete game, but he so did get into the seventh inning. Pittsburgh did win, though. Let's see. Puig went 0 for 3. Marte went 1 for 3. Scored a run. And then he also got a base, a stolen base. So I will say that Stalin Marte outplayed Puig. Yep. There you go. Stalin Marte.